All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to our weekly show, The Pro Filmmakers. My name is Drajan Stader. I'm a professional director cinematographer. And in today's show, we have a cinematography breakdown of a smashing new music video. My name is Luca, performed by Clemens Laconia. This amazing music video has recently reached over a million views on YouTube. That's good. It delivers an absolutely fresh visual approach and we had a good fortune to talk about the making of this music video with its cinematographer, the award-winning Dominik Istanich. Dominik is known for his highly stylized approach to cinematography that usually tends to be very moody and atmospheric. So if you are excited to check this behind the scenes breakdown as much as I am, make sure to subscribe to our Pro Filmmakers channel and make sure to hit that gorgeous bell as well. All checked in? Good. Let's dive into this beautifully cinematography-driven episode of the Pro Filmmakers. Dominic, please take it away. The show is yours. The way I like to approach is to check a few references and talk with the director about the script. The preparations took me about two weeks. Micha and Clement needed much more than two weeks. When Micha called me, he just said that we're gonna shoot nice music video with a different backdrop. At first sight, it was very easy, but then became a little bit more complicated. At the first meeting, we just talked about the script. Later, we started to talk about the gear and how we're gonna do it. Of course, I've checked a lot of references before the shoot. I have put a lot of attention on how to combine the colors. I think that for me, references are very important. I prepare the basic references just to know how I will light and set the frames, but on the shoot I tried to make shots by my way. The hardest part was how to shot everything in just three days. I had to make a lighting setup with DMX control because we didn't have time to change the backdrops and lights for every scene. We have chosen the colors of backdrops together with Micha and Clem and then I picked the second color. I mostly used complementary colors. The app color wheel on my phone helped me a lot and I'm very happy I have this app. For backdrops I have used a projector screen and a very bright projector. The projector has around 16,000 looks I think. A projector was a really good idea because I have just picked a color and voila I got the color. No changing backdrops and all time consuming stuff. I had all the bad RGB spectrum of colors. For key light, fill light and backlight, I did use six sky panels as 60s and six stairs. In terms of color mixing, it was very interesting because of some colors that I had in mind didn't match on camera and because of that I had to change them on the shoot. I also couldn't measure color light with the light meter because of certain color combination affect the intensity differently. To get X cross visual effect, we set four Astera lights behind the projector screen. For this music video, I used Red Dragon and Sony Cinema Primes. We wanted a cartoon-like, highly saturated look, so I decided to go with Red Dragon because of the color space. Red Dragon has a little bit more saturated and more contrasted picture than the other cameras. I did everything in camera, we did just a little corrections in grade. We had three days of shooting for 12 hours a day. I had around 10 tech crew members. The crew consisted of one focus puller, one second AC, one grip, six to seven light technician and one projector technician. For those cinematographers who spend too much time and money buying and obsessing over gear, I would suggest them to purchase only what makes their job easier and special. I can just say that the perfect camera doesn't exist. The best camera is that one which fits for your project. My opinion is that if you rent the camera for 50% of your project, it's maybe worth of buying it, otherwise it's not worth it. I buy equipment that I can use at every camera and every project that I shoot. I also buy equipment that makes my work easier, like easy rig, sliders, handles, filters, on-camera monitor and stuff like this. In this music video, frames and scenes have a lot of information about Luka Doncic that you have to see it 
to understand the music video. Me and Michael agreed the camera should be static so people can see all the information in scenes. When doing over crank and slow motion shot, you should make sure to have enough light and if it's possible to shoot in frames that you need. Almost all LED film lights are flicker free at high frame rates, even 1000 frames per second. You can also use tungsten lights over 1K. Below 1K you can have a problem. If you want to use HME lights, make sure that you get high speed blasts from your rental house. Dominic, a huge thanks for stopping by in our Pro Filmmaker Studio. You shared with us so many golden nuggets in this interview. It's insane. If you want to find more about Dominic and his commercial work, I'm leaving a link to his official site in the show notes. There you go, pro filmmakers. A lot of inspiration and amazing tips on how to shoot beautifully designed music videos. In case you still haven't seen the music video My Name is Luca, make sure to check it out. We are putting a link in the show notes as well. If you like our show and if you want to see more of delicious filmmaking content, make sure to subscribe and hit that gorgeous bell as well. And if you don't, that's okay, subscribe anyway, because we are going to help you become a better filmmaker. Don't forget to comment below. I would like to know what are some of your biggest takeaway notes from this episode and how do you approach your music videos? This show was powered by Studio Production House, a video agency specialized in helping brands grow with amazing video, and by Pro Video Rentals, a video rental company providing us with all the latest video tech. Boys and girls, make sure to stay inspired and shoot the stuff that you love. And always remember one thing, no matter what happens on the shooting set, we're gonna ride, ride, ride like it's all right. Oh yeah, bada bim, bada bam. Till the next one, next Friday, don't forget it. See you.